What's poppin' my peeps, how's it going? Today I'm gonna talk all about my main camera that I use for music videos, commercials, all that stuff, how I have it rigged up and why I have it rigged up this way. Let's get it going. <laughs> Cinema mirrorless cinema camera rig that I that I use for all our client work and in this office as well This is the rig that we use if we're not renting cameras like the C200 which I'm actually recording on right now I'm gonna leave links to all this stuff in the description down below so you guys can check that out Those links are affiliate links So I do receive a small commission if you use those links to purchase product nobody nobody cares So we have some shoots coming up and I figured you know now would be maybe the time to show you guys this rig This thing that I rigged out for for my cinema camera it's not a cinema camera, it's a mirrorless camera. Sony A6300. This has been my workhorse. I absolutely love this camera, it has great features. Obviously there are cameras coming out now that have better specs, but for what I need, this gets the job done for now. Definitely looking to upgrade within the next year or so for my camera itself. The rest of the rig would still be the same though. That's the thing, is that this rig, once you've kind of built it up, you can just kind of swap the camera bodies and lenses out and you still can use this rig for other cameras. And these are the things that I've purchased over the years and slowly built this rig up. Main camera, Sony a6300. It's great for when we're not renting because we do rent a lot. Uh, I recently got the Ninja 5. I actually did a video comparing the Ninja 5 to the a6300 and I was actually blown away by the results. So I've actually been using the Ninja 5 as my recorder because it does shoot in 422. It's still 8-bit on the a6300. There are cameras that can do 10 bit there is a difference in image quality and I'll leave a link down below for that comparison video that I did if you haven't seen that so that takes the Sony MPF batteries so we have a bunch of those just lying around and then it came with the, whoa, whoa. It came with this Sony 500 gigabyte SSD mini when I purchased it I chose to purchase it with the bundle So if you are looking at the ninja 5 and you want to make sure you get an SSD mini with it You gotta make sure that you purchase it with the bundle It doesn't come with it just as is that is mounted onto the camera the cameras in a small rig cage I love small rig cages. This is a big reason why I love it is because it, it, it gives you the ability It opens up so many doors with the mirrorless camera it, it, gives you the ability to rig it out like this. So the camera's in a camera cage, and then I have this small rig articulating arm that the Ninja 5 is mounted onto. Now this guy right here is a top handle, and I used to have a different one that wasn't a NATO rail. So for the longest time, I kinda stayed away from gimbals. I just, I really like a handheld look. I still do love a handheld look. I came from like the, the glide cam world, so I was using those for a while, and then I ended up just going handheld for a long period of time. And then finally last year I bought a gimbal and it was a pain in the butt having the, the top handle on and then having to unmount it, put it on the gimbal, mount the top handle back on when I, when I want to go handheld. So I knew that it was like time to get a NATO rail with the top handle so I ended up getting that so this can just pop off super quickly, you know, so just, just like that. So. Which is, which is great because then if I ever want to just move to the gimbal, I can super quick. I, I love a top handle because it gives me another position to hold the camera, especially if I'm going handheld. Like, I can just pop this off the tripod. And now... And now we can, now we can rock around like this, you know? Moving on down here. Now this base plate is not positioned correctly. I just kind of slapped it on real quick to do this video. I have my rails, and then I have a small rig rail plate. And then on that is a Dover tail quick release plate, which is the same base plate that my gimbal takes. So this base plate, so this, this so the camera is actually on the gimbal base plate. So I can just pop this off real quick. Boom, ready to go. I would take off the top handle, obviously take the monitor off, mount that onto the handlebars for the gimbal, and then I can go rock around on the gimbal. So we have the quick release plate on the rail plate. Now the rails, that's another small rig accessory, but the rails themselves are from this old shoulder rig that I got, and it's newer, a new, it's like, I still use that thing today, I, I definitely am gonna upgrade within the next year just because it's, it's time. So those are the rails that I use for this rig. Having a rail system is really important if you're trying to rig up your camera for your client work. It gives you the ability to mount things like a map box, a follow focus, a V-mount battery plate, which if we spin this guy right around here, you can see, boop. Boom. So yeah, this is a V-mount battery plate. It's a Cam TV V-mount. This is a V-mount battery right here. This big guy. I actually bought a different one. I bought this Comer. Comer? Comer? Comar? I bought this one when I bought the plate, but when I put it on here, 
this kind of gets in the way of the handle. So I just use these other ones that we already have for, uh, for our lights. This mounts onto the rails right here, and then it gives me the ability to power the camera from V-mount. I can actually power this if I wanted to as well. Right now I just power the camera with this because I prefer to have less cables going all over the place. Right now I have this HDMI cable going from the camera to the Ninja, and then I have this dummy battery which allows me to power the camera from the V-mount. So yeah, that's this whole area, the, the base plate, the rails, the V-mount battery plate, all that stuff. And then this whole camera is on this Manfrotto 504 fluid head, it's the single leg one. Who's emailing me? So this is like the rig for how I run around. Sometimes I'll just take it off here and, and, and go like handheld like this or like this. Sometimes I'll mount the shoulder rig on with the pad. Uh, I'll extend the rails and add the handlebars there. Or other times I'll take it off this guy. Whoop. Go on the gimbal, be good to go. And sometimes I may even just run around like this with the uh, the top handle and the ninja just kind of running around like this. Focus. I hope I covered everything. I think that's I think that's it. So that's the rig. That's the rig guy. It's the old the old rig there, Bob. If you guys have any questions in regards to this rig thing, let me know. Yeah, that's gonna do it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, smash that keyboard, subscribe if you aren't already, ring that bell, and stay hungry. Peace!